Yeah. <laughs> it was like 10 miles long. It was incredibly bad. The biggest impression was the support for the wounded warriors. I mean, you know, every time you passed uh, an amputee or you know someone who uh, had some kind of wound, there was a, a team around them, and that's pretty significant. Uh, but I mean, this is just a this is a great event for camaraderie. If you come here and you see guys that you haven't seen in 20 years, if you're an old guy, and you just ride down the or you know running down the road, and people come up to you and People you haven't seen in a long time stop in the middle of the race. It's just great. Perfect day. Weather is awesome. Uh, the course is pretty flat. No humidity. I'm on Okinawa, so I'm used to 80 degrees, 90 percent humidity. So I feel great today. I started to lose steam around mile eight, but that was when it was the, the home stretch. So I was able to just power it in and, and bring it back. That was about when I started passing by some of the wounded warriors at the same time, and it really was inspiring. Wow, I I spent up until like mile eight or nine trying to catch up to some of them. They're, I mean, they're really, really getting out there and showing that regardless of what hurdles they have in life, you know, they can still get out there and, and keep up with the rest of us. This is my second year doing it and ran a lot faster than last year, so I was happy. Definitely the last two, I was starting to get tired. And, and since they changed the finish line from last year, it was a little different, so it made it seem longer. <laughs> That I'm really an old man, and it was a whole lot easier about 10 years ago.